Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Hamilton coming to you to tell you another cool story about your county, McDowell County. So if you look on the screen, you see a picture of the Carson house. And I'm sure you probably have seen this house before. Maybe you just didn't pay any attention to it. Um, if you go past Lowe's um, and keep going across the river, go on past there before you get to Tom Johnson's, which is the place that sells all the big campers. Um, before you get there, you'll see the Carson house right beside Tom Johnson's right before you get to it. Um, it's got a long uh, drive and a real big front yard, so you kind of have to look back for it. Um, but that is the Carson house. And we talked a little bit um, yesterday about Colonel John Carson. And remember, I showed you um, his grave site up on the top of the hill with the McDowells. So this is a Carson house, and it was built by John Carson. It was built in 1793. And I want to show you a picture of John Carson, Colonel John. Okay, so this is Colonel John. Okay, and that's a picture of him. And he came um, here. He was born in Ireland. And he came over here, and he settled here in McDowell County. And he built this house and I'm going to show you a little bit more about the house. I'm going to show you some pictures of the house. So this is the inside of the house. Okay. It's really pretty, isn't it? And you may actually take a field trip here one day um, in one of your other grades. So that's the living area. And then here's one of the bedrooms. Okay, and boys and girls, you can go and tour this house by yourself if you want. Um, when it opens back up after the quarantine, you could get your parents to take you and um, see some of these things. And then here's another picture. This is the upstairs. This is a third floor. Um, and if you notice, the walls are not painted. Those are the original walls. And I think something really neat here I didn't um, know and I was reading. If you look right here under this picture of the three beds, it says, don't miss the laying out bed. It says it has short legs and it's extra long. Boys and girls, do you know what a laying out bed is? I didn't know either. It says that this bed was used to display a dead body on top of the dining room table. Isn't that crazy? So back then, boys and girls, they didn't have funeral homes like we do. And so when they had somebody probably close to them or in the family that passed away, they would lay them on this laying out bed on top of the dining room table for people to come by and visit and pay their respects. That's kind of gruesome, isn't it? Miss Hamilton's telling you all kind of crazy stories. So then this is the... Um, the barn and this is a display in the barn this is a new part that they added but it shows you some of the tools and things that they used to use and then this is a covered wagon it was built in north carolina in the middle mid 1800s boys and girls that was a long time ago wasn't it that's pretty cool so we'll scroll back up to the picture now the carson house was the home of the Carsons for a long time, but it also um, was used for other things. It wasn't just the home where they lived in. It was used for other things later. Um, and so it was used as uh, McDowell County's first courthouse. It was a stagecoach stop, and it was a private school. Now, today it's a museum. Now, I want to tell you a story about when it was a private girls' school. There was still some Carsons living there, but it was also used as a private girls' school. And so they got word that um, during the war that um, the uh, bluecoats were coming through. And so um, 
they knew that when these soldiers came through, that they were going to uh, go through that house and take everything um, that had any kind of value. They were going to take the food and they were going to steal the money and just destroy the house because that's what they did to their enemies when they came upon these houses. And so uh, what happened was the girls in the girls' school, they left. They went back home. So would I. So they went back home. So that left um, their teacher and the Carsons that were living there at the time. So they got busy preparing because they had about a week um, before the soldiers could get there because the soldiers were marching on foot and on horseback. So they had about a week to get ready. And so their t- the teacher there of the girls' school, she wrote down um, kind of in a diary what happened. And so I found a recording of that diary, and I'm just going to tell you some of the things that they did to get ready. She said that they dug huge holes. Now, not real close to the house, kind of farther away from the house. They dug these huge holes, and they buried things. She said that they buried hams. So ham that, you know, you eat on Easter. They had those and they had them um, curing and and waiting to be eaten. They buried them in the ground to save them so they didn't lose all their food. They buried, she herself said she dug a hole and buried uh, Colonel Carson's money, his Confederate money, in a hole. She said that they took their nicest uh, clothes and, and possessions like that and maybe jewelry and um, they put them in a trunk and they stored them at this old um, fallen down kind of uh, raggedy looking house far away from the from the main house because they were hoping that when the soldiers come through when they looked at that fallen down house they would think oh well there's nothing in there for us because that's just an old fallen down log cabin and so that they would just ignore it and leave it alone. And so they put all their good clothing and some of their valuables in that house. And guess what? It worked. The soldiers passed by that house and didn't even go in. And then, um, let's see, what else did they do? Oh, the, the um, Mrs. Carson sent her husband away. Now, I didn't really understand that, but she said that he, I think because she knew that when the soldiers saw him um, being a colonel, they would just go ahead and kill him right then. And so she said, you can't protect us. We're probably safer if you're not here. So they sent him away. And so it was just the women and the children left. And these soldiers, they did come through and they came through in two and three and four sets or groups of soldiers and they did do a lot of damage and those ladies would stand on the porch and try to block them and keep them from coming in and they would just come in the back door and in the windows and there'd be hundreds of these soldiers just kind of swarming all over the house and the yard and they did do some destruction to the house and they tore some things up and um one thing that the teacher recorded in her diary, she said that some of the ham and meat that they did leave in the house, that those soldiers, they took it and threw it on the ground. They poured vinegar all over it. And then they kicked dirt and sawdust up on top of the meat so that they wouldn't have that meat to eat anymore, right? Who would want to eat that? But the joke was on them because the teacher said that the later Another group of soldiers that came through took that meat and ate it. They didn't know they were eating meat that had been covered in vinegar and sawdust, did they? That's what they get. So, um, they survived. They survived the, um, the soldiers coming through and the house survived. There was a lot of damage, but the house survived. And so that's just another cool little story, um, that you can listen to yourself. And I want to show you um, how you can do that. So if you are on your computer, let's see, my computer is froze. You can go to, um, you can type in your, um, 
your um, search bar, you can type in McDowell County Oral, O-R-A-L, Oral History, and search that. And boys and girls, you'll find a website that has lots of, here we go, there's my computer maybe, that has lots of stories that people have recorded about the history of McDowell County, which is very, very cool. And that's where I've been getting some of my information for you guys. So I encourage you, I will put the website on this assignment. I encourage you to go listen to some of the stories. And one part of the website that I thought was really interesting is um, there's a whole section about gold mining. And you guys remember, we went down to the gold mine and you guys got to meet my aunt and uncle. Well, they're on this website. They're there, um, recorded out loud, oral, recorded, teaching you and telling you a little bit more about that history of the gold mining in our county. So that's on there. And then also um, there's a section about Bracket Town. Now, if you remember that same day that we went to the gold mine, we also went to Bracket Town Farms and we got to see all those cool animals. So Bracket Town was a very important part of our county um, and it was a small little town back then um, because everybody was there mining for gold. And so there's a section on Bracket Town on that website as well. So I encourage you to go check that website out. And um, then I want you to leave me a comment and tell me what you read about on that website today. Okay. All right. Have a great day.